Hey guys, welcome to another pack opening video. Today I'm going to be showcasing what I open in a booster box of Fusion Strike over here. And then we'll be opening up some of uh, the new Celebrations pack tins and some more Evolving Skies blister packs. Just for a little bit of fun. Um, first of all, I want to show what I got in 10 loose booster packs from Mr. Toy's Toy World. I got the Full Art Chandelure, which is beautiful. And it's a Secret Rare Training Court. The Chandelure is probably the better hit here. These aren't very expensive cards, but the art is fantastic. Doesn't that just look great? All right, and then in a booster box, we got two VMAXs, which were the Rillaboom VMAX and the Greedent VMAX, and one, two, three, four, five, six standard Vs, which is Bolton, Cinderace, Mew, Rillaboom, Greedent, Appleton. And then we got six holographics, these ones. But the, the hit from the booster box, which outweighs everything, which I sleeved up and put back inside this booster pack. Uh, see if I can get it out. The Inteleon. Alternate Art V Max stunning card. Absolutely beautiful. The Alternate Inteleon V Max. Fantastic. So we're going to put that one in a top loader. And then just count all the hits that we got from this booster box. So we had the Alt Art, which was our full art. Two, three, four, five, six, seven Vs. 8, 9 with the two VMAX, um, VMAXs and then the other 6 make 15. So we had 15 hits um, out of that booster box, which is pretty average. Um, the only We didn't get a full art, we only got the alternate art, which I was surprised to see. I was expecting to maybe get a full art and then you'd have a chance of an alternate art, but it turns out that like alternate arts can replace your chances of getting um, a full art, which is, yeah, so that's interesting. Interesting to know that. Um, but yeah, we're going to crack straight in, so I might put the Intelli on there just so we can have a little bit of a geezer at that while we're opening up some packets. There we go. And yeah, crack into some of our Evolving Skies. This is also our hits Pikachu. You can you can look after the other ones there. Hey, cool. Um, I think we should do our celebrations tins first. Yeah, let's crack into some celebrations tins. So I get these ones at Mister Toys for fifteen dollars. Apparently, people are going around just buying the celebrations tins with the Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur on them. Don't do that. There's literally no reason to get, like, just the one tin. Literally no reason. Like, the same packs you get inside. There's no promo card. They're all worth exactly the same. It's just really annoying when someone went, goes in, they want to buy a whole sealed case, which has one of every art, and, if, and they're all open because someone comes in and buys all the Gen 1 stuff. Rightio, we got some Darkness Ablaze with an upside down code card, green and white. So it's probably gonna be nothing, big parasol and a muck. But we still have a chance of some decent hits. We've got the celebrations packs, looking for the gold new, looking for the Umbreon, looking for the Charizard, looking for the Venusaur. This could be something. Ooh, Pikachu VMAX and three hollows. Flying Pikachu VMAX to add to the hit section. Oh, I'm going to add these uh, the hollows to this hollow pile. Oh, except for Lugia. Lugia gets his own box. And we got a Zacian V, Kaigaho, and a Claydol. So the Claydol is our um, extra set card. 
It's not really worth a lot and I've already got this one. So that's okay though. We've got an extra set card, which is cool. Let's grab our codes and get all this out of the way. And with our bulk, just take out the reverse, hello, the rare and the energy, and everything else goes in the bulk pile. Reverse hollows in the reverse holo, rares in the rare pile, and energies in the energy pile. What have we got here? This is the Sobble and School Bunny and what's the other one? Grookey. Grookey team. There's Generation 7? Generation 8. I can't remember. There's been that many generations of Pokemon. Don't know what we call them anymore. Another Darkness Ablaze. Okay. I'm getting some big coins in here, which is interesting. The big coins might be easier to flip than the little ones. Darkness Ablaze, upside down credit card, and it's green. Got another muck, back to back mucks, and some more bulk. Right, for our celebrations packs though, we are looking for the, the gold Mew from the standard set. We are looking for any Lugias, we're looking for the Charizard. Gold Star Umbreon, and we're also looking for the Venusaur, Luxray, Solgaleo, Cosmog, Xanius, and Dialga. Okay, second pack. I think we're also looking for the Garchomp, Rayquaza, Tapu Lele. Surfing Pikachu V, Groudon, Xerneas, and a Rocket's Admin. So we get another classic collection vintage card there. And we also got a V, Surfing Pikachu V. And the last one here we've got is the Johto tin, which is Chikorita Syndical Totodile. This is a really fun generation, this one. coin again. Two generations packs and the Darkness Ablaze pack. Darkness Ablaze. Upside down credit card. No, nope, it's right way up and it's green. Reverse hello. Diggers B. Oops. And energy and some bulk. Can we pull this all back with a big hit in the last two packets? Big hit in the last two packs. Flying Pikachu V, Cosmog, Veltal, and Team Magma's Groudon. Interesting we're getting a vintage classic card in at least one of the packs. I'm very surprised to see that that is the pull rate. Solgaleo, Kyogre, Cosmom, and Dialga. Okay, let's do a little recap of the six packs that we just opened from the tins. Overall, I'd say it's actually worth buying these. We got three classic collection cards. It's about one in two packs. Not the most expensive ones, unfortunately. But Classic Collection is cool. And we also got three Vs and a VMAX. So in six packs, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. It's almost very, very close to two ultra rare hits per tin for $15. Very, very good value. All right, now I just need to find my Lugia box. The one I keep all my Lugias in. Might be this one. Yep. And 
all our Lugias go in here. So that's a box I've filled jam-packed with just Lugia. Isn't that cool? All right. I'm gonna put those to the side. Code cards out. And then we've got our Evolving Skies. These are our Evolving Skies blister packs. There's not much of the set left that we're looking for. But it would be nice just to you know get some cool pulls in here. Uh, we're getting green codes. Yep, yeah, but the green codes are right. So those are real green codes with no hits. Okay. That means we can do the pack tricks with the white codes. Sylveon, you look happy today. You must be giving us a hit. No, nope, it's a green code. All right. These are all Rayquaza ones. I asked the guy at the counter for um, just the Rayquaza ones, even though it doesn't matter because the packs inside are always different. Another green. Green code with an Espeon VMAX. Huh. Okay, then. Okay, then. Um, might just put the code to the side. Keep that pack with the hit. We're just looking for full art, secret rares, and ultimate art at the moment. Rogan Roller and a Flapple. The green code. Bit strange to get a green code and a, a hit. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, there's something big here. Oh, we need to do, we need to do the pack trick. We need to do the pack trick. Oh, oh, it's big. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Fletchinder, Lantern, Treasure Energy, Tentacool, Hopip, Dino, Mareep, Wobbuffet, Slack Off, let's go from the bottom. Oh, green. Trevenant V Max. Oh, I thought it was the Umbreon V Max. Oh, that was such a tease. You look at it like this. It looks like it's the the night sky, the Umbreon with the clouds floating around. But they're not they're just clouds of Trevenant V Max's V Max head. Stupid Trevenant VMAX VMAX head. Trevenant Stupid VMAX. S silly, silly Trevenant VMAX VMAX Trevenant looking head face. Alright, let's keep going. Green code out of that as well. Ribbon badge and a Victini. Hollow. Okay. So we've got two ultra rare V Maxes, one holographic, and we've got four packets left. Oh, there's something here. Oh, Sylveon V Max. Wow. Okay, that's nice. So we've got another green code. Three V Maxes, one holographic. It's worth about, it's, it's pretty much worth what I paid now. Got Entei and a Gorgeist Entei Reverse Holo. That is a cool art for the Entei. Two packs left. Let's see if we can get a full art. We're still getting, oh. Zora Walk and... Umbreon V. Umbreon V and a Zora Walk. Let's take this code card out. So three V Maxes, one holographic, one Umbreon V, and ten packets of Evolving Skies. I call that a win. That is pretty much what I paid for in my money. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything I needed for the set. And that's the last pack with the Altaria regular rare. Let's 
do a quick recap of our hits in these packets. Five out of ten. Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's check it out. So in this one we got the Espeon VMAX. There's our Espeon VMAX. In this one we got our Trevenant VMAX. And this one we got the Victini Holographic. This one was the Sylveon VMAX. And lastly, we got our Umbreon V out of this one with a Zoroark Reverse Holo. Let's do some pricing on this. So the Umbreon is about $10. Sylveon VMAX is about $15. The Victini, about a dollar. Trevenant VMAX, maybe $8.00. And the Espeon VMAX and Umbreon would be about the same at $10. So 20 plus 15, uh, 35 plus the Trevenant about 8, so that's 40, about 43, 42. And then the Victini makes it just under $45. And I paid $60 for all the packs. So we kind of make our money back a bit. Unfortunately, no cards for my set that I need, but I'm very close to finishing Evolving Skies anyway, so even if we did pull something, I probably would have had it. So that's pretty good. Um, we got the hits from the Celebrations as well, which was fantastic. We got seven hits out of six packs. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits out of six packets. So it's like one pa each pack had a hit. Fantastic. And then in our booster box, we got uh, the Inteleon VMAX alternate art. Fantastic fusion strike hit. And then we got these two great cards, as well as a bunch of uh, hollows and Vs. And I'd say the highlight of the video today would be this Inteleon VMAX alternate art. Fantastic card straight from the the booster box. Uh, I'd definitely not recommend opening up this set. It's it's really not great for um, pulls. But if you can afford the rare cards, go out and look to buy them individually. But I would definitely recommend going out to buy these $15 tins. It's really good value. Three packs for $15. And you get a little tin. That's so cool. Go out and buy some of those guys. If you like my content, like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next openings. Peace out, guys.